Corporal St. John. Sergeant, how's it going? There you go. Oh, big spender. Huh? Ah, okay. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Ugh, my back is killing me. Ugh, you know things are bad when sitting. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man, Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed.